The bullpen is the only mafia news station. And it was a, a vote to get him out. He won back in overwhelmingly. So what are these people on? And these are the good people, the illegitimate people. I don't care what you are, Republican or Democrat. What are you on to get him back in? What does it take that you could see that you would change your mind? And if you don't want to vote or your vote is crooked or screwed up, then the country is dead. We're finished. All of this talk is nonsense. Well, I think we're fighting voter fraud, too. I mean, that's we're fighting huge. everything. Right. We're, we're fighting everything. But if it's this is what this program is about. This is what uh, Michael and Jay and uh, Anna and our, me and my thought was to wake people up and say, this is what's going on. And uh, if you can't see that every single day of your life, then we're finished. We're done. Yep. Because if you don't vote or you don't do the right thing, then our freedom is gone. It means nothing. Our vote means nothing. Our voice means nothing. We're going to become like sheep. And these people do not care about our little baby sheep or us. They're real violent. This is, these are sick, sick, demented people. There has to be a line, even if you're a crook. I was a crook as a kid. There's a limit to being a crook. That doesn't mean you can go to your grandmother or a grandmother walking in the street, smash her in the head to get $15 out of her bag. There's a limit. There's a line. And these people don't seem to have a line. And if we don't see that, we're in trouble as a country. And our kids and our grandchildren are in trouble. So, again, I, I start getting a little crazy. Let me... I know. Uh, so, Jay, I know you had a great article, and it actually reminded me of the... Um, remember the old movie with Heston, Soylent Green? Yeah. He's absolutely. like, it's the people. Right. Take it away, Jay. Soylent Green is made from people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is a story that actually came out, uh, maybe two years ago because there was a scientist <clears throat> named uh, Dr. Matthew Lau and in a 2016 lecture, uh, he's a bioethicist from NYU that's connected to Klaus and the world economic forum. He gave a talk back then that they could engineer, <clears throat> uh, certain ticks that when you get a tick bite, you then become allergic to eating meat. And, uh, I, I know I have a family member who has a good friend that had this happen to them. So it's a real thing that they were studying how to, uh, understand the weaponization of this, because a lot of these things like Lyme's disease, you know, if you, if you look at the history of it, it goes back to places like Plum Island, a lot of researchers think. So they do a lot of studies on this kind of stuff. And the weird part about this guy's talk, this Dr. Matthew Lau, is that he says that what we would really like to do is figure out how to weaponize the tick bite that makes people allergic to meat to make everyone allergic to meat so that no one can eat meat anymore. Then you'll have to go over to eating the World Economic Forum diet of bugs. So uh, it's an amazing talk. This is the guy himself giving this talk and saying it and saying that this is what we'd like to do. And now in the news in the last few weeks, we're seeing the explosion of these stories of people uh, who are now allergic to meat after they've getting, gotten tick bites. Unbelievable. Imagine uh, cockroach Parmesan Sammy being stuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't, I don't think I'm going to get stuck on that. And, and as far as imagine every woman on the planet is allergic to meat. Oh my God, what a nightmare that is. But I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even want to think about that. Oh, but yeah, I heard it was crickets. I heard the, the uh, specialty is crickets as they want us to eat. Can you imagine having a little cricket leg stuck in your teeth? You go to kiss a girl? Yeah, yeah. A little cricket leg. It's pretty horrendous. It's, I know we're laughing, but. No, it's, it's, it is horrendous. I mean, I've, I've eaten a lot of things. I've eaten, uh, you know, bear, alligator, deer. You know, as a hunter, I hated beer, bear, by the way. It was very fatty. Just, I didn't really like it at all. Uh, alligator wasn't bad. You know, certain things. But I'm watching a lot of these videos, what they're doing with the chicken and the meat. And uh, putting it in, uh, I was watching them putting it in these, it looks like a microwave. And they and they put them in these things. And, and the, th the, the they take 
an injection from the cow and they put the, his fluid in there and it starts to grow like bacteria and it grows into a meat. One, another computer tells it where it should put the fat or nerves to make it more realistic. I just, it just, it wasn't uh, I, something I really am not interested in eating. You know, my meat, I want it to come from a cow or a chicken. Or I want it to come from a chicken and I don't want it, not a make-believe chicken uh, or a, a, a chicken that's full of all kinds of chemicals. So again, and I, that, what's his name, that fluoride bitch that I don't like? Fauci or Bill Gates? Bill Gates. I mean, and I could understand this prick is just buying up farmland and doing weird shit. And why is he buying up all this? He's the biggest owner, aside from China, of our farmlands. And he's one of the guys who's sponsoring all this artificial meat and stuff like that. What the hell did this guy make his money on? He's not into farming or meat and food. He is now. But what, where did he make his money, Bill Gates? Where does he come from? Software. Microsoft. Software. I mean, he's a multi-billionaire making software. And now you want to fuck with our food, our farms, our farmers. I, I, I really, it's, it's not, I, I think we're losing. I mean, if we don't question it, Fauci's another guy. He's an Italian guy. I just show my, I hate him. I can't stomach him. He's a liar. He's behind things. He's caught in 50 million lies. Yep, yep. You know, I had a friend of mine, I was saying that. He said, how could you say that? He's Italian. That's why I could say it. I hate him even more that he's Italian. I am Italian. I really, I'm not proud of this guy. I, why should I like him? Because he's Italian? That I mean, right. so, uh, you know. You know, Jay, that article also said that they're genetically engineering humans to be smaller. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, if I read something real quick here, this sure. goes back like 100 plus years because if you can go back to... Uh, one of the elite strategists from 1931, 32. Bertrand Russell wrote a famous book. He's one of the most famous philosophers and logicians uh, of the British Empire. And he's most famous for being a Malthusian, meaning that he's one of these guys who wants to kill everybody, wants to depopulate. Well, in this book that he wrote in 1931, he says that in the future that's coming, food control is essential. He says it's going to be absolutely essential that the elite technocratic establishment completely control food. Get this. Here's what he says. This is exactly what Sammy was hinting at. He says, the problem of producing synthetic, purely chemical foods will eventually be overcome. Natural foods will be allowed, but they will be restricted to only the elite. The rest of the population that is allowed to live will eat manufactured fake foods. So the synthetic, this is 100 years ago, basically. He, he wow. was saying that this is the plan they would roll out. Now here's Bill Gates rolling out this, this very plan. And it's not, he's not the only one. The other, other people in his circles, uh, like Charles Galton Darwin, wrote a book called The Next Million Years. Mm -hmm. He's got a whole chapter on fake synthetic foods and controlling the population through diet. It's an old form of warfare. And so they're just, they're just taking that and applying it to today to the domestic population, not a foreign enemy, but to the, to the domestic population. Yep. So, yeah. And it's a racket because like, like Sammy said, Bill Gates and a bunch of other people have already bought the farmland and they bought the fake food companies that will supply the, the fake food because they know that's what's going to be pushed in the future. They're going to try you know, to it's ban. Amazing. They're already trying to ban uh, farming. They're banning. In, yeah. In the, the Dutch farmers, they're banning cows and farming in, in yeah. amongst the Dutch farmers. Yeah. I mean, I, I, it's amazing to me how you could look at books from way back. And these are not predictions. These are predictions. And they, it, this is a plan that they've had. And it took years and years to implement it because it's extremely hard to, to implement it. But through the years, this is now we look back, which he's teaching us with these old books. We're actually facing it right now. The reality of it, it took a long time to happen, but it's happening and it's happening right now in front of our face. They're not even hiding it. This guy, Bill Gates, he's talking about his farms and his, his make-believe food. And uh, he's out there just talking. He's actually talking about our next pandemic. So somebody had asked him in an interview, this is a hypothetical. He said, no, it's not a hypothetical. It's a reality. This man has the balls to get on television. I saw him in an interview saying 
It's a reality. It's going to happen. And he's uh, uh, now in, involved in drug companies to make the cure for it. So, of course, he wants it to happen. This is crazy. What they're getting away with is crazy.